Hi, my name is Mason, and I'm a sex addict. Hi, Hi Mason. Mason. You all know my story, but we got a new face here tonight, so I'm gonna tell it again. My addiction started shortly after my daughter was born. And now, looking back, I think I needed to prove to myself that I was still the stud I always thought I was. I think of myself as a father, a husband, a man with a family that depended on him. Yeah. See, I still have to be the stud. So I turned to sex to build myself up. First, it was internet porn. I'd watch it hours on end, jerking off to images on the web instead of getting it on with my wife. Then it was one night stands. Having sex with women who were willing to do it with a guy they didn't give a shit about. Just as I didn't give a shit about. Women who are probably addicts like me. And finally, prostitutes. I'd solicit them on the web and meet them in motels. And my wife getting pregnant again didn't slow me a bit. I just kept going. I was a, I was a, having sex with a prostitute, and my wife lost our baby. She miscarried while I was in a filthy motel room with a woman I, and stand to look at it. I still wanted to screw. And that was the bottom for me. And that's when I turned to sex addicts and others. But since then, I've got my addiction under control. Stumble now and then I'm not celibate for Christ's sakes. The difference is I don't live for it anymore. I live for other things. And I take it one day at a time. Just like they say. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Mason. Is there anyone else who would like to speak? Well, in that case, please join me in the closing prayer. God, God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And the wisdom. So what do you think? Uh, I don't think I can ever get up in front of a group of people and talk about myself like that. <laughs> you know, I used to feel the same way. But as you can't see, I got over it. Let me surprise yourself. I doubt it. I gotta be honest, sometimes I... I wonder why I even looked into this. We screwed around so much more in college, didn't we? Now you tell me. Look, it's the same thing as with drinking. If you think you have a problem, you have a problem. I guess. So you gonna join us again next week? I'll think about it. <laughs> 
Would it be against SAA rules to work with someone you're hoping to sponsor? Not at all. Good. I'm working a high profile case and I might have to reach out to one of the more militant members of the black community. High profile, huh? I don't suppose I can get any details. Tomorrow. Let me talk to my client first. Swing by your place, say, nine? Yeah, fine with me. Thank you. Michaela, it's Ramsey. Listen, I gotta bring a buddy in on the job. Uh, he's a licensed PI just like me. Same rules of confidentiality apply. As long as you think it's necessary. It's definitely necessary. Look, I'll call you as soon as I've got something, all right? Thank you. Good night. <laughs> 